friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I am 30 weeks pregnant. I might be a little later on by the time you're watching this, but we're getting close to baby. It's our first one and we're having a little girl. She is due early December, so we are counting down the days and starting all of the prep and nesting work. So today's video, I'm going to take you all along to prep for baby and organize the nursery with me. When I was early on in pregnancy, I watched so many videos like this, just trying to get a good idea of what works for mamas, what is a good setup to have. So I think I've got a good idea and I'm gonna start organizing everything that I have. You can see the room right now is just a little bit of a disaster. So I'm excited to get going and start getting things in place. I've got a bed pile, I've got a nursing pile, a diapering pile, a bigger item pile, a bottle and kitchen pile, and a bath pile. So this is her setup we have. We have this Ikea little dresser and if you missed it, I did a video on putting this together and it was awful to put together. Um, up here I have just some little books. I already have these up and then I already have this little cute little organizer. Pretty much organized with newborn size and then some lotion, butt cream, and then this is a changing pad for this. This is just a muslin cover, so that's a waterproof pad that I'll just lay over top of this when we change her. So that's where we'll have a lot of things stored and then I can't get in her closet yet, but um, I will get in there and start organizing some things. And then this is her little crib area. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna start just bringing everything into these drawers that I know I'm gonna put in here. And then at the end, I will walk you all through where everything has gone and where I decided to put things. We're gonna start with her clothes. And I already have them in these bins. I got these from Ikea and these are amazing. They're just little like plastic um, adjustable bins and they hold clothes and organize them so well. So I'm going to start with clothes and then move down the drawers from there. organized and good to go now we're gonna move on to the closet i moved a few things so i can actually get in now bins and baskets are so helpful when you are planning a nursery so just stock up on lots of things like that we have lots of these bins and then i got these from amazon down here i will link all of this stuff and then that is from ikea that little white thing in the middle so let's get to organizing the closet now
think I have everything in place where I want it. So I'm going to walk you all through kind of my drawer setup, my closet setup, and take you through where I put everything. If you have any suggestions or think I should move things around, comment down below. Um, I am a first time mom, so I've never done this before. I trust anyone out there that has done this before and has some tips for me. So comment down below any tips that you have and I will consider them. Um, so let's start with the dresser. Here's the setup over here. I just have my bobby pillow down here for now. And I have the changing pad and hatch sound machine. And then drawers over here I have some passies and clips her little wub and nub These are some little milestone things that I can take her picture with. And then this is a ginormous basket of bows and things. I'm very excited about that. This drawer is her burp cloth section. And then I have her little socks here that are so, so cute. And then this is some tights and then some extra socks that are a little bit bigger back there. So that I think is a good place for that. This is kind of her just random drawer of medicine and butt paste and creams and things. So I have her little gas drops right here, some extra butt paste, Aquaphor, just an extra lotion that I have. Um, I have her little hairbrush and then those extra hairbrushes back there, some antibacterial wipes, and then this is the electric nose Frida. Then in this drawer, it's just packed with diapers. So these are all the little newborn snugglers. And then back here are size ones. So I'm just going to keep this drawer full of diapers, I think. And then I have her little setup up here of diapers. And then lotion for easy access, butt paste, and the little spatula for easy access. And then this is a little changing um, pad to go over the other changing pad. And it's like a waterproof one so I'll just set that there when we're changing her so it protects this little cover that I have but that's the first row of drawers I think that's good right there and then I have her little diaper pail off to the side right here and then under this section I have her little newborn in zero to three month clothes so I have her onesies and things here most of this side is newborn and then this side is zero to three and then these are just some pants and tights in different sizes these are all little sleepers so lots of those this top row is newborn and then the rest is zero to three and then that's just a little tiny preemie outfit just in case don't know if we'll need that or not but you never know and then this drawer is actually three to six months so same kind of setup here i have sleepers these are just little bloomers since it'll be a little warmer when she's this age some tights and pants and then little onesies side we have all of her little swaddles and then these are all of her little sleep sacks so this is a preemie size this is newborn this is small so they're all in different sizes i have some little just unicorn blankets back here I have her Moby wrap and then this fan I'm going to use in the hospital and then we'll use for her like on her car seat or something when it gets hot out and then I have just her outlet in here for now and down here is just a big storage of extra diapers and then this is a cute little quilt that some little old lady at our church made for her and has her name on it so I don't want to pull it out okay and moving on to her closet this is still a work in progress. I'm waiting on more hangers. I only have one left, so I don't have much hung up yet. But I just have a few little cuter outfits hung up. And then I actually use these bins up here for... This is 6 to 9 month clothes. This is 9 to 12, and then that's bigger. So I've got some bigger sizes of clothes up there that I'm just going to store until time to use. And then I just have a little extra box of books here. And this is a little memory and keepsake box. And then I'll have her tub up here for now until we need it. But I have my diaper bag hung up here. And then that's going to be Albert's diaper bag. And this basket won't stay here. But it's, whoops, her name's right there. Um, <laughs> this will be for, it's just everything that I am going to be taking to the hospital. So I'm kind of collecting everything in there for now. But I have this little rolly thing in the middle from Ikea. 
And my idea for this is to roll this into our bedroom for when she's in there and it has pretty much everything I need. This will be a little caddy to take just wherever we are, so downstairs. Um, it's got diapers, wipes, changing pad, that sort of thing. And I've got just extra diapers here. This is some stuff for me later on. And then all of the nursing stuff I have down here, like the Haka, a breast pump, nursing pads, storage, bags for milk. Um, so that'll probably be in our room for the first little bit. And then these drawers are really handy. This is going to be her little bath section. So I have a couple hooded towels. And then these are little washcloths. I need to take the plastic off. I've still got to wash everything of hers. Um, this is just more bath stuff. Little water temperature duck. And then some bath products we'll be using. And this is extra little bags for her trash can her diaper pail so we'll probably be going through lots of those i think this is yeah that's extra wipes and then on this one over here we've got just random tiny shoes i love these so much <laughs> i can't wait for her to wear these i didn't go overboard on shoes i've really only got these because babies don't wear shoes but then my mom got her this little bathing suit for next summer down here is kind of the bottle section and stuff that will be moving down to the kitchen, but I just have it stored in there for now. And then that's a storage to something else we have and more wipes and random things that we've used to hang stuff up. So that is her little closet setup. I think it's pretty good. I'm feeling good about where everything is right now. So that is how I organized her little room so far. I'm not going to show you the other side of the room because going to do a full mushroom tour soon. There's still a little bit we have to do and um, get done. Plus, I have a few things over there with her name on it and we haven't announced her name yet. So, that is probably going to be it for today's video. Like I said, if you all have any tips or think I should organize differently, let me know and I will consider it because I've never done this before and I um, could be placing things all wrong. But that's how I have it. I've done lots of research, lots watched lots of videos so I think this is all in a good place and yeah if you missed it I did do a few weeks ago I did everything we have for the baby so be sure to watch that video I will tag it up here I think it's on this side <laughs> but go check that out and any other baby videos I have I have a whole playlist don't forget to subscribe if you haven't down below by clicking the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. There'll be lots more fun baby videos coming and just young family type of content. So if you enjoy that, definitely subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see that I haven't done so far. We are counting down and we're getting close. So next up on the list is to wash all of the clothes and all of the things I have for her, which is going to be a full day of doing so. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.